There we go. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be a Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Detective Drakir, along with Detective... Rum. <laughs> and welcome back to LA Noir, which, well, this is our third stream. And we were originally thinking of doing Dan... Or Dave's Diver. Hmm? <laughs> I'm guessing cat? Nope. A lot of fly. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I know a good way to get rid of flies, if you don't mind also having a fire extinguisher nearby. I really had none to begin with. I just crushed it. I hope. <laughs> Wait, it's not okay. in my hat. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to LA Noir, our third stream of this. We were originally thinking of doing Dave the Diver, but uh, yeah, just we decided to ask if Rom was available, and well, here we are. And last time, <laughs> this dumb Rob decided to scam a, a car stealing operation, and now she's trying to cash the check in spitting distance of the police department. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You're the one that decided to join a car theft. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta get the. I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. What? The I have no straight... idea what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> the only straight cop in the LAPD, as in the only one that won't fall for people's bullshit. Uh, let's okay. see. Let me scroll up to where we were about with this. Uh, let's see. What, slip of the tongue? No. No, it was, uh, no, slip of, no, it was, uh... uh yeah, it th is. Th here's their name, Gene Archer. Yeah. yeah okay. A slip, yeah, a slip of the tongue is after the con as after a marriage made in heaven. Okay. So in the I'm next case, we have... <laughs> What did you read it as? Gene's Archer? Je yes, Gene's <laughs> Archer. Can we just get this over with? Gene's okay. Archer, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Why do you seem smug in the front of the cops? I'm pretty sure we got evidence that the whole thing was... ...bullshit. Hey, okay, what's the verdict? Mm. She Why if she... we don't have evidence, doubt. Doubt. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. You're the one that decided to sell the stolen car. 
Yeah, she is not looking out for anyone because she has her <laughs> she has her eyes on her shoes, and she's not noticing that she's walking right into a cliff, or off a cliff. Okay. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? We didn't tell you his name. <laughs> Why? Out. Did we? But did we just say his name? Uh, we said Belasco. We didn't say James Belasco. Uh, there we go. Uh, you and Belasco have been delivering cars. Who is James Belasco? Yeah, she tripped herself. Yeah. Lie. Yep, yeah, because we have evidence with the paperwork. And she is a good liar, but she, you can notice her looking away. You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Yep. Well, I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know him. <laughs> then she falls apart like a stack of cards. Come on, sharpen up the light of me, Jean. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our mm, stories... Don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that too. Tell me where you picked you, up the car, Miss Archer. Oh, so you Look, I, the I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? Sorry for interrupting. You're looking away. You know something, don't you? Are you all right, Rom? Yes, I'm. I'm all right. Why? <laughs> Some of you actually went in full detective mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, oh, I right. like the, I like yep. detective stories, and I may have been watching a bit of Doctor House. <laughs> I've not seen that in ages, but yeah, I, it, I was that's basically a medical detective show. <laughs> Okay, what's the verdict on this one? Uh, lie or doubt? Lie or doubt? Trying my patience here, Gene. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. <laughs> Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. <laughs> Is this guy for real? It takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. <laughs> yeah, just this chicken is being put out to roost. Just to point out, she decided to sell a stolen car to a guy, just to make two grand. Which admittedly is a lot of money in the in the 40s, but the thing is, the car's stolen, genius. Oh, correctly branch every question in the interview with Gene Archer, okay. Yeah, that definitely no, means that I didn't get it right originally. <laughs> Alright then, well we have an address, so... Let's go address the situation. I need to go over the case notes. So, uh, where do you want let's to go? see. We might as well see what's on Fremont Avenue. It's a bacon uh, yeah. lot, right? Maybe there's something uh, yeah. there. There, we can head there as confirmation to get it striked off. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. <laughs> She's a bit not late like there. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm Mary. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after <laughs> all. Now we're getting some. Yep. I'm with you on the blondes. Uh, the nets are fine, too. Blondes, brunettes, the bedheads. Those are my types. But I draw the line at grass. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining the food. Uh, a man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. He, he has a point there. 
Oh dear. Uh, a bar so high, you might trip over it. That could be fair. That you can't trip over that bar. Empty. You need to be wasted for it. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. I'll get it. While they have that cigarette. Well, that gives us an extra clue, but we might as well check the place. You can drive. Um. And wait. where exactly nope, are we it's going? blanked out. Okay, we don't have to go. Mm. Uh, let's go to Marquee Printing. Might as well check the pink slips before we go it into what might go be a, a firefight. I may also have for tomboys. <laughs> and gods. Nuns. We're just going down the entire list, aren't we? We're probably gonna... Schoolgirl outfits. But just the outfits. Just the out. Look. I uh, look. I'm horny, but I'm not an app. But I'm not gentlemen. a scumbag. I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We literally had one second of hesitation. Yeah, it's fishy. Let's we'll check everywhere. Let's see. And also, no I mean, investigation like, sounds. Everyone likes tomboys and goths nowadays. <laughs> tomboys, goths, nuns. Actually, it reminds me. Outfits. Maria, you have to recommendation. I've been, uh, I've been watching some uh, dub comics outfits. and such. And for some reason, he recommended a Habra manga that is very unique. Definitely the first one I heard of. Oh. A dude that makes a harem milfs. Okay. No. And no. it's set in a oh, fantasy no. world, of course. <laughs> but Listen, still. I'm busy. You know where the door is. Uh, yep. Yeah, jackass. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Yeah, a bit surprised you didn't start into this immediately. Yeah. Uh, before people ask, I did not watch it. Working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? For money, you're looking yeah. away, buddy. He, yeah, he's lying. So, do we have proof? We don't have proof, so I'm gonna go ahead and doubt. Just doubt in doubt. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact. We had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Oh? Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Oh. Hey, okay, you look way. Shifty. Hey. I, I'm saying doubt for he looked away a bit just they are doing that again. Yeah, I'm gonna go with <laughs> doubt Harrison bought his car from Coombs the pink slip looks good and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't They've all been carefully screened Look now that I think about it the name Coombs sounds familiar I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. No. Okay. Comes out of the deliveries. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. I'm doubting you, sir. 
I am I'm very much doubting you. Still doubting. I think we should be. We, I think our distrust against car salesmen are grown. Wait, he's not car salesman. Oh. No, he just prints he's the not. pink slips. Yeah, <laughs> so he could say he's an associate. Doubt? Doubt. I am doubting as well. Do he is keeping eye contact? Uh, he oh, keeps looking he? away. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's looking away. I'll get out. Well, you don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. <laughs> uh, nope. Five in vehicles. Well, I okay. trust you've got all that you need. Okay. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Let's see. Mm -hmm. okay. Just gonna grab some ice cream. Rob, make sure he doesn't die. Oh, 58 industrial, isn't that? You certainly encourage repeat huh. business, Lightbulb. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Industrial. Yeah. So, uh, right. All right, time for the usual. Possibly ending in a shootout because that seems to be the one. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. Uh, nothing much. We just found the address that we're already suspicious of. Uh, where are we going? The 58 Industrial. Have to find something else. Is there something else here? Uh, not for the moment, I believe. We've asked all the questions, and we don't have any, much of an investigation area. We only have. What? Oh, fuck. Okay, is not this the other mic? The mic here. No, it's not as loud as it's been before. Could you call for a couple of black and whites? Get flashed down. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. What? Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. Wait. Yes, the audio is playing in double. Okay, so maybe that's what happened. Cole Phelps, LAPD. Of you are coming downtown with me. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Yep. Hey, your mic decided to go ape shit for a second. Yeah. No, it wasn't yeah. as bad as the other times. Like it was it it was more like uh like it wasn't sound like, it didn't sound like it was trying to kill itself at least. It sounded a bit okay. milder than a static. Yeah, that, that means that the problem does lie in my USB port somewhere or something in the motherboard itself, perhaps. Or just something just something with the hardware or software. But yeah, I, I thought one of the reasons that might be the cause was over-peaking the mic or something, which is why I lowered the intake volume from 100% to 60%. So that would be why it went down. Uh, so at, at least it wasn't ear splitting this time. Yeah, not ear okay. splitting. Hmm. Loud, but not ear splitting. Something that might help with that further is if I lower the amount further, but put a, uh, add gain to the uh, in to the input on OBS. That might reduce uh, it even further. But yeah, it just it just proves that. It, the issue was never with the mic or cable. At, at least I didn't spend like a hundred on this new mic. It was 64 for the whole set, arm included, which I actually prefer now. <laughs> okay, and yeah. <laughs> yep. well, Don't just out. walk. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Uh, yeah, just their immediate reaction to getting called out, just to open fire. Okay. 
Whatever's a machine gun. Great, right, they're gonna throw me. Don't waste the fucking hat. Down! Down! <laughs> the first casualty of war. The question is, why would this guy have guns? Because they're criminals, because of course. So, go. I saw you with the shotgun, Sneaky. Now, who's the closer one? Right, uh, he's behind the uh, sims right there. There. Get drilled in the back on the way out. Throw out the guns. Now, get out of the way. I heard something. Pick up the shotgun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. All right, all right, don't shoot. Keep shoot your hands up. up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. All right, then. <laughs> Uh, let's see, that's another copy of that freeway that's being built. Hello? There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Anything else? Let's see, there's even more boxes there, likely even more pink slips. Yeah, and tools. And a bag. Okay. Hello. What have we here? Key printing company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Okay, so they <laughs> they really did just keep, yeah, just all the more evidence this time to get it. And hello. Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Ah, okay, uh, that's uh, why. Uh, it's a typical death. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. Yeah, bullshit. Um... <laughs> Especially since they started shooting first. We know about marquee printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. <laughs> Don't. Don't. Well, uh, he must. He must be related to uh, our <laughs> the sour puss from the console's car. <laughs> they, have to, they have that face. Is it Walter's son? There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. You'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Game? Lightfall. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. It's one of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. You're just doing this to fuck with us, aren't we? just talked to the guy. <laughs> no, 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 lie. <laughs> if we already talked to him, then he definitely is lying. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow? Hey, would I lie to you, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? Okay, for this one, it's the delivery ledger. You know what? I don't know what a, a good thing to ask him. Hello? Uh, ask him what he did on the 32nd February. Or this one? Let's see. Yeah. Gordon Lightball owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in Harkov with 20 grand. Feds find out. 
contracts will be all over. Lightbulb plays ball. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. Yeah, so often it just comes down to gambling, huh? Money to. I can't even say Las Vegas. This is LA. Yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, I did make a comment that, given Bear's luck with, uh, uh Chris from the Gay Channel. So Given her luck on blackjack, I did make a comment like, oh, where to nuts. give her money and just big, right? go to <laughs> Vegas. Where I've got what would happen? And you know, 50 50 shot of either we're millionaires or we wind up. And you drive to this one? To, uh, <laughs> in the desert. Did in we Vegas, know where we're going? Nevada desert. Okay, we've got one oh, more brick to pick up. Now, I'm curious. Who started with the wool? Who wooed you at the 32nd February? What a mess. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with it. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. You know, guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Yep. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. Or both. Or both. Or both. <laughs> Just insert the Road to El Dorado meme here. It's a good movie. <laughs> Marquee Printing Company. More for uh, yeah. yeah. I, th I think it really does have something to do with the amount of stress that's being put on my computer for some reason. Because we when we lowered the settings on Doom, we didn't have a single audio error after that. You're under arrest. Yeah. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. Okay, let's see. We only have one question for you. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightbulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. <laughs> do we have proof that he's lying? Or do I doubt? Uh, we have a delivery note. We have the delivery lying. note. We have the betting stamps. But he also has this look that's more like doubt because he still looks at you but then looks away. You're lying. Where? Santa Anita park, uh, park bedding slip, stamped loose, made out to Gordon Lightfall. Steve Bigelow testifies to Lightfall's business endangered by debts totaling 20,000. Yeah, that's a lot, especially in this type of money. So, yeah. So, save it, Lightfall. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. What a, <laughs> your attorney with what money? You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightfall. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. 20K? I'll name names. This is small. <laughs> uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightfall. Gordon Lightfall, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Yeah, the... Uh... X of X correct, it didn't pop up the earlier. LAPD so, yeah. Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. 
Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will ya? I think it was more like 10. But, yeah. Leave it to the press to inflate. Yeah. So a proper police will... At least nowadays they will try to shoot their legs or disarm them. Yeah. That's five stars. With the theft racket smashed, Lightfall and his cronies will climb over one another to cut a deal. <laughs> Wait. Look, let's look at the damages here. Yeah, 96 and 33 vehicle damage. Where did that come from? I hmm. Zero injuries, but then I remember, oh right, they don't count them if you get shot. It counts if you run over a civilian. Yeah. Oh, that's why it's there. And hello, Marco! Hey, Marco. You doing well? All right, on to the next case. On the way to the Pacific. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took 10 years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. So here's fun fact about World War II. You know how the American forces use the M1 Grand? Mm, yeah. Well, those were mostly sent to Europe to fight the Nazis and in the Pacific Theater that they started to be shipped afterwards. Mostly, most forces that were sent to the Pacific were using the Springfield bolt action rifle. Well, the Taylor on switch to the Grand, but everybody Two was women. mostly starting Possible with drink the drug. Bolt How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bit you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? <laughs> a Chevy Star. You just love it when you're literally within walking distance the of the case. Billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Uh. <laughs> Guy gave me five to I said, all damn. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Oh, good gods. Do I have yep. heard worse? Like, have you heard someone try to rob someone in front of a police station? Yeah, that, that is just the stupidest place to commit a crime. <laughs> yeah, and I saw a picture that someone tried to rob a restaurant. But everyone ignored him. Nobody was good that he, did, he didn't have a gun under his bag. He was hey. alone, actually, but yeah, he was. He was so embarrassed he left angrily. Well, the King ad. Hmm? Uh, it's right over there. <laughs> How did you not notice this thing as you came into work, Cole? But yeah, we're still going to be lazy and set some yeah, Kowski to work. Wait, 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 let's look at it again. You made me look at the sign. There, it's the blue. Yep. Yeah, I see that now. Bloody heck. Uh, mm. Let's see, Marco. Fun fact about World War II. My country got told to chill by Germany since we were making people into soap and play squid games except you don't get any money. What? Oh. Her face looks it. familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, Beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? The driver's beat up. Not too bad considering. If she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. 
passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, install the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. This ain't the red carpet, so get out of my Big. lens. Um, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Okay. Uh, let's look around a bit with these tire tracks and such, since, well, it's not every day that someone drives off a cliff into a billboard. In front of the local police station. Let's see, is there anything to find here? We're not getting any investigation stuff. Okay. Mr. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what know, but that's because I was born in 1997. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. Of I don't like. Keep out of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she has a sharp tongue. Okay. A B movie. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Sorry? Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claimed that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. Also, that's so where the so slipping... dopey. I can't remember. We have no evidence, mm. so I'm gonna go with doubt. Doubt. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Name? The name? Who the fuck you is mentioned Mark, Mark Bishop? Bishop? You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. This seems rueful. I hope. Yeah. Keep looking at us. But she's an actress, remember? Yeah, I was used to say that. Uh, good to be an actress makes it so much harder. <laughs> on the other hand, we have no evidence, so doubt. But on the other hand, she's looking straight at us with only a slight nod, so. <laughs> doubt? Doubt, and I'll be killing the cameraman. Do you get paid by the hour for doing nothing? I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. Okay, that's all we can ask at the moment. So we'll yeah. have to go down. This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. Not like that. Genius. Yeah, le let's not take the expressway down. <laughs> uh, let's see, Marco. It's not every day you see a group of four crash through a billboard in a 1970s car. This is a reference. Um, Not Blues Brothers, I think, because they're... But that's the two in the car. And uh, yeah, a little thing on the flashback. Uh, if it had... If you want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Uh, yeah, the <clears throat> World War II might have gone on for a good few years longer, or longer, if it wasn't for the atomic bomb. So it was a dirty deal, but uh, hello. That's underwear. That's torn underwear. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Okay, GTA San Andreas reference. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's right. One of the missions uh, in Los Santos. You and the other four. You and the other three are in a car after the police assault a hotel and the is stuck and the car flies over and crashes into the freeway. <laughs> I should play that game again sometime. I finished it once. Let's see. I want to play it on PC, but I can't because it's not there anymore. Okay. Dear Jesse, please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. All is forgiven. He has a hot temper, but he can be very proud. Uh, but you're still his little girl and he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl, dear, and you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15... <clears throat> I was 15 once myself. I wanted to be li just like Clara Bow and wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men. But once I grew up and married your father, I realized I would never have been happy in that life. You'll realize it one day too. I'm sure Auntie June is looking after you. She's a long way from home. Uh, but I can't help worrying. You know what your old mother's like. The world is a very dangerous place for young girls, especially ones with stars in their eyes. I always read it as stands. Stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you to what's right in front of your nose. Emma and Molly miss you awfully. Emma's getting so pretty now, and little Molly is bright as a button, just like you were at her age. They need their big sister to look, after, uh, to look out for them. Dear, dear Jesse, please come back. I'm frightened for you. I can't help feeling something terrible is going to happen. I cry for you every night. Your loving mother, Camille Ham uh, Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah, Hamilton. Okay. And let's see. Aunt Junie. Hello. So the victims are related in this case. Yeah, and that. Uh, I am concerned about the torn underwear in her. Yeah, th th that's. Uh, that yeah. That's a very big red flag of what rather happened. Uh, try flipping it. Uh, I can only turn it so much, I think. Or I, I can't flip it at all. But the thing is, Phelps is not saying anything like this. Is a, this isn't related to the case? Yeah. Um. Uh, let's go inside. The car, not off the cliff. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, it drunks before, actually get injured uh, less in crashes. That's why they was, survive more often than the people they hit. Uh, wasn't this before airbags invented? Yeah. Yep. Airbags were not a thing at the in the forties. <laughs> oh dear. Sixties and probably the seventies. Drunk driver. Maybe not. How so? Well, ahead I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <laughs> not the time for Shakespeare. Real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Wait, mm. Indian? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. <laughs> and yeah, that's a very obvious casting line. Anything interesting? We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. I did not Me. know... Yeah, had shrunken heads. That's a uh, thing in movies. I remember that being a thing in the sequel in the Mummy. I thought it was more of a Jamaican thing. Hmm. I honestly don't uh, know where. We have are. everything, it seems, because Showell Clues is dulled out. And hello again, Pizza. You doing better? You still doing well? Oh, I was about to pizza. ask, doing better, but there's no reason to ask if you're doing better. Are you doing okay? Yeah, let's see. We have a third person here. Might I get introduced? This is Rom. Sup? Oh, by the way, I gotta go pick up lunch. Be right back. Yeah, okay. Right. 
See you in a bit. Make sure the doesn't bite back. <laughs> oh, you! Mike! Mike! Test one, two. Three, four, five. And I figured out what I can compare it to now. Let's get moving. It, it sounds like a milder version of the stacky sounds you may hear from an old TV. Okay. Before uh, it was... Well, yeah. Eel wrecking. But okay, it's yeah. milder. Now, it's not something specific with the mic, Marco. It's something in my computer that freaks the hell out at, for some reason or another. I'm, I'm actually going to look into here for a moment and lower down the graphics. That's my... That helped with Doom, and it might help here. Uh, let's see. Balanced. Um, okay, those are just one or the other. Okay, uh, that's... Oh, okay. For some reason, that may return the game to full screen. Uh, where was the? Actually, there we go. That works. Just Alt Enter. Yeah, I, I hope I hope that wasn't too loud on the stream, Marco. And at the absolute least, it's a lot easier to pull the plug on this thing since I, the, the cord literally just dangles right in front of me. So I just tug that out and put it back in. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot, uh, a lot less of a hassle. Uh, let's see. Pizza. Yeah, hello, I got nothing to do. So I thought I would come back. Plus I got like three, four battles left before Pokemon Sword is finished. Okay. Uh, but... You mean black and white in the display here? It's, well, I'll show it for a bit. Come on. This is what it does. Oh, dear gods. So let's just turn that back, shall we? All right. I got to, yeah, turn the black and white filter off. <laughs> I heard the sound go to shit like a second after I left. Uh, let's see, Marco, there was no sound, so I don't know what I was supposed to hear. Okay, is the issue not appearing on the stream for some reason or something? Hmm. Ah, great. Is it Discord fucking up? Whatever. Uh, yeah, it's the... Path, you're injured. It should be the... It should be something in my computer, because... It, uh, it is messed up for, at random with Discord as well. Maybe it is one of the options. And... Well, since we stream and use Discord, actually, yeah, it, it might it might be Discord, huh? Yeah, but it has been heard on streams before. Hmm. But this so, one is this one is a new sound. It's not as harsh as the other. It might be too mild to be heard on stream. Me, that, 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 that would be. This before. That that would be. Very beneficial for me, since I don't have to hunt... That would mean I don't have to hunt down the, uh... <clears throat> would mean I don't have to hunt down <clears throat> the audio freaking out anymore. But I'll st I'm see... still making notes. Yeah, still making notes to double check. For we don't know what volume uh, Marco has, or if you are distracted by something else. Let's see... Pizza Lover... Oh, I love black and white. It just gives some good vibes. I would personally play the game like that. Yep. And that's probably why it's there. Anyways, uh... What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? So many things because... You're lying to us. Yes, he's lying. Yeah, we know that something more happened. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. 
Do you have any proof? In fact, that we found this. Yeah. Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. Right. So you feeding her to a rapist has nothing to do with it? We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Shit. Late We're lying, lying, but do we have proof? We don't have proof, so... Doubt. So, doubt. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Except when they have to handle Mark the props Bishop, or be on the set. Mrs. McAfee, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. Okay. Since we're, did uh, we don't get to investigate over here... Yeah, I think I know it, her type. She's a B-mover actress, but she, she thinks she is a big star. Yeah. Going to church doesn't make you any more... Not only and that, the... dating in a garage makes you... Go ahead. She's also a fading B-movie actress. Yeah. Okay, scoot over, Bukowski. Fine. Yeah. Why are we here? Uh, this is the episode uh, I don't think I'm going to be comfortable for. This is the one I'm actually going to be worried if uh, Twitch going to strike on. I find that doubtful. Uh, well, Twitch won't probably... I mean, I checked, and L.A. Noir isn't on the band list games, so... Yeah, yeah I'm more <clears> worried <throat> if a certain word be used. I don't remember if it is, but we'll see. Uh, one last thing, she said, uh, she met, said a uh, heel. Uh, generally today, uh, the term heel is known as a wrestling term, but back in this time, the 40s, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Alice? Hmm? Let's, just go to the, let's just go to the hospital. Yeah, don't drive off the cliff, Bukowski. Your timing. I wonder if they named the jazz club the blue room as a reference to the red room. Uh, the naked, no, the naked gun, two and a half. Maybe. <laughs> Pardon? Hello, Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton? Oh, yes. She's in the room, right behind you, Detective. That's easy. You can't hold me here. No, I don't need to be Feeling better by since a this doctor. morning, Jessica. I need my lawyer. A little. Hey, where yes. is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Now, uh, there's another one of those. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. All right, here we go. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. We didn't ask about yesterday. Well, except for the car crash. But she said nothing she, happened yesterday, so... She's lying. Yeah. I mean, do have proof. 
Good yeah, week. Something happened yesterday. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover up? I'm not lying to you. <laughs> we found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. <laughs> yeah, it gotta... says it right there. Yeah. One second, got to go pick up lunch again. We just went out for a thing, and I got to bring my brother. Be right back. Okay. All right. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. We, we have proof against this as well. Yeah. He's lying. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective. Why would I lie to you? Because you're trying to cover up? Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. <sighs> yeah, my pizza. They are rude, but it is sometimes needed to get to the truth. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Uh, that doesn't answer the question. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, they're just doing that. <laughs> I want to see that, but do we have proof? Nope, so... Doubt. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday. Like they worked it out. Apparently not. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please. It's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Do uh, we have proof? Nope. But she's reacting here differently, and, well, we're talking about something pretty serious. I need to see, uh, the log. What was the question again? I'm back. Right, welcome back. Here's the log. Okay, I gotta get this thing bigger. Yeah. It's from here. Just ask one question. Yeah, this is basically him asking about uh, the S abuse. Right. Mm. Doubtful or lie, I don't know. Yeah, oddly, this one is truth. Huh. All right. Jessica, yeah? I really need you to help. Yeah, the thing is, what threw me off I was her looking mermaid. away, but at the same time, given what happened was to her, I get why too? she is looking away. He, yeah. You know, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. This always, it, Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? okay. 
Right. I, I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? I don't think you want to take that part. Uh, yeah, that that's a bit of an oddity with this game. Uh, because originally, I believe, the, the answers to questions or the answers... I believe before the uh, the truth, doubt, and lie would be uh, good cop, bad cop, and lie. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is yep. that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Yeah, she had a bit of a murderous tone earlier, so... Uh... There she goes. Come on. Don't tell me she planned to. Yeah, she just wants all evidence that can potentially link her god, but she also doesn't want to kill Jessica. Uh, was now we just have to follow them. Two, two so far. I mean, I feel like my brain did tell me he learned me to look after yeah. like whenever they are. He's alive, but I agree that she seemed truthful. But was big doubt because, well, the game said they are doing that, but after, but he said it makes sense for her to look away. Yeah. So that is attention to detail that we give the game grounded for. Yeah, just a oh, damn it, just a strange thing that they. Uh, that they renamed okay I did not have my finger on the button for left there at all but yeah just an odd thing that they changed the names from good cop bad cop to truth and doubt maybe they should have uh, shifted it over a bit for that one actually I think they changed it to good cop bad cop on the re-release for newer consoles it was originally something else. Hang on, let me check. Broad has socks in it. It was. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Suspect, what? She caught you. I'm pretty sure. She was, about to she was to looking away to the. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again then. Okay. And yeah. Doubt was originally called Force. Okay. Get in there and see what And she's at up one to. point, you could also beat confessions of the suspects, but your case rating would be lower. The remaster oh. basically swaps it to good cup, bad cup, accused. Okay. Where can I hide then, though? It... Find the booth with the newspaper, okay. The one yep. to you, I mean, the one that's right in front of Phelps. No, I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls! I'm gonna be very clear about this. Can you get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. We've got a location. Sure, I got the film. Yeah, that's a sudden switch. What's she up to? Nothing good. Yeah, yeah sh that person I'm getting more You're and more distrustful. All right, where to? <laughs> Did you get out just for us? You could have just scooted over. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. 
She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. McAfee will break... That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 80 Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park. 11 K code 3, all other units go 2. KGPL clear. Roger, KGPL. 11K en route. All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11K, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park. 11K code 3, all other units code 2. KGPL clear. Well, they work fast. Yeah. Also, you might want to... Also, I don't remember if this is a shooting part or not, but you might want to still grab a gun from the trunk. Yeah, I don't. Ha I have no idea what 415 is, and it looks like we're not going met getting much of a choice. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Okay. Phelps, there we go. Yeah, sometimes it can be a bit finicky. Uh, yeah, just lowering the graphics didn't help that much. Make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. In this case, she's got a point that her husband's doing underage kids just for the sake of them having a park. Uh, I really dislike that guy as well. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. Well, I guess we can make a good guess as to who we're visiting. This doesn't pertain to the case. All right, there on the chest. Uh, that might look a bit odd to hear, but in India and such, that symbol is considered a sign of fertility. And, well, a certain Germanic group who I've won't name for the moment, just basically stole it. Hello. They basically stole everything. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't tell me anything. Okay. Anything? Oh, yes. Uh, hello. What's this? No. Oh, hello. It's a check. What you have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars? Let's see. I can't read that. Hopgood. Okay, Lorna Hopgood. Talking about Bollywood. Oh, hello, New Testament. I find it funny if Phelps opens it and it's just pictures of stuff, or it's a gun. Uh, there's an open <laughs> book there. Just, just a decorative little thing. Probably not even ceramic. Oh, uh, yep. What? <laughs> okay. Presented to Mark. Uh, okay. Uh, clarification, Beach Ball. Back then, that word just means happy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, some 
cash. What is this here? Cigars? Doesn't look like a cigar case. Probably empty. Money. Don't take it. Uh, Circumstantial. Yep. <laughs> okay, nothing else there. Photo? Of a set? Looks like the old movie set downtown. Okay. And another Is America's that... Cookbook? I don't think so. Okay. Try to set. No good to me. Oh, yeah, not on the job, Phelps. A type of food the from uh, World War II. The, the counter. Hmm? Uh, there's the a mini set on the counter. A... Uh, there was a say, there's a special food that people ate in World War I and World War II on the front oh. line. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. And the nickname, I forgot its official name, but the soldiers had a special nickname for it. Oh. Yeah. Shit on a shingle. Oh, uh, yeah, I was about to, I'm actually watching a video about the food people made in, like, soldiers ate in World War II. Wait, wait. Is it ma history, tasting history with Max Miller? Not everything here. No, it was something else. Hang on. Oh, no, it, it was the YouTube's name uh, I watched it, I got it from. It was, uh... Yep, yeah, it's actually Tasting History with Max Miller. <laughs> we watched the same video! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, since the place is trash, there's just so much stuff all around. Let's see. The color... Oh, oh, of color and color mixing. Yeah, with all of this gunk, there's going to be a lot of junk. Probably not. There's a picture on the side. Yep, hello. Looks like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, okay. Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's job. Ah, uh, Marlon Hopgood. Also, Why did I read it as Arlene? Probably because it was mud. I doubt it. Okay. I Bollywood? think that's about everything. Uh, oh, no. Uh... Uh, how to say this? Uh, uh pizza. Th there's a symbol from India that it means fertility. However, there's a certain person during World War II who used a similar symbol for. Yeah. They, they basically illegal. turned it 45 degrees and called it their own artwork. Yeah. Ma'am. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Oh, God. Instantly. Inst Instantly. Like. I was willing to trust her until she did that fight. Yeah, just immediately smug. But doubt unless we have proof. Yeah. <laughs> June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Okay. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know.
I seem trustful. So I don't trust myself anymore, considering <laughs> earlier the... <clears throat> yeah, that was more... Uh, special circumstances, we'll say. Yeah. So, so what is... Um, is it might be truthful? Maybe um, true. Either we find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Okay. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood twenty thousand? Oh, so it was Lorna. Lorna, Marlon's ex-wife. Are you sure? I was. I was willing to trust her for a moment until she just flipped the smugness. It's why. Yeah, lie in the check. That's yep. my best guess. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Okay. Finally, that was at a casting yesterday with a young girl. Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. <laughs> Lie. Lie. Uh, come on. Weren't you supposed to be an actress as well? Yeah, supposed to be. Apparently she quit. Jessica I remembered a mermaid. Out. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius, a magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Yeah. Los Angeles, Your everybody. husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. I don't know, but this chapter is making my blood boil. Might as well give it a call. Operator, message for KGPL. We're not calling us all. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks for your help. Uh, and sadly, to this day, this bullshit continues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, people may hear that I'm um, very displaced for this. Uh, these are pe the kind of people that makes my blood boil. Finally, rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. Shut it. From the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Burn. And Phelps has got a point. Wait, what was the point? I missed that. None of them are capable of lying to save their own asses. When they're supposed uh, to be actors. I need to go over the case notes. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Yes. Let's get in the yeah, car officer. and play the chauffeur. Officer, could you arrest the woman on the third floor? Long story, I'll explain it then. Doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. 
The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. Valid points. Yeah. And welcome back, Marco. How was dinner? Welcome back. There it is. If I remember if correctly, work. I think in one of the rooms here is the newspaper. And I see something in chat. And uh, let's see, from Pizza Lover. And boom, I have beaten the boss of Pokemon Sword. Just two out uh, or one more. LAPD. All right. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and <clears throat> Jessica Hamilton. Christ. I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings. Yeah, of course you are. How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Can we whack him upside the head with a stick? Yeah, we can probably find a good stick somewhere around here. Oh, right. Uh, in the prop shop, by the shrunken heads, there should be a newspaper. Okay. Terracotta soldier. And I saw some... Buddha statue as well? Similar to the ones we found in the house. <laughs> Good old backgrounds, hand painted backgrounds. Yeah. A lost art, I believe. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, Marco heads barbecue. And I lost sounds. Keep him here, Stefan. Okay. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Honestly, I'm about two steps from just shooting everybody involved in this case except the girl. I'm agreeing with you there. I'm in full agreement with you there, Rom. I'm tempted as well, but that will just make us criminals as well. There we go. Just for some reason, my Bluetooth just decides to stop existing for a moment, and then I lose connection. I I am really tempted to just go back to a uh, a wired headset, but I'll have to probably cut into it a bit so it doesn't squeeze on my head you know, not on my doesn't so it doesn't <laughs> squeeze on my uh, glass as much yeah, that, that would models. really get painful mine doesn't okay. do that luckily enough huh. oh, turn off the lights Hopgood why would I want to do that humor him hello yep. one way mirrors there's a room on the other side Huh. Oh well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Yeah, similar Thank shrunken you. heads. Yeah, and the prop store near the shrunken heads should be one of the newspapers. Okay. Oh, hello. What do you know? Drugs. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? <sighs> That's serious. Can we get a view at the bottom of these things? No. Let's see. Can't be that way, Bell. You couldn't fit a rat through there. Hmm. Very fancy mirror in that bathroom. Yeah, but it doesn't connect. Wait, it doesn't? Oh, yeah, it yeah, doesn't. It... What if we found fine. the camera there? Let's see. Uh, really? Yeah, this is some... <laughs> some fucking some... Wiley Coyote bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> uh. That face, yes. Seriously? You thought you could trick me? Even more shrunken heads. Oh, okay, just geez. leave those alone. And there it is. It's listen, 
and I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have, yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. <laughs> and how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Sheesh. <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey, hey, you don't like my offer? Okay. The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Uh, how'd you go from... <laughs> from a, a psychologist uh, to a... Uh, the Mafia, Courtney. It's a bit it's of a jump. a long fucking story that involves the entire game, believe it or not. Yep. All right. There's a room. Knock, knock. You hide it behind literally the Wily e. Coyote painting. What the... And what do you know? Point it straight at the bed. I wonder if they Hollywood. saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. Too many. Probably way too many still. Yep. Okay, you can't click out of this one, you just need to wait a bit. Let's check the tapes. Might as well see what's on them. Picture. Jungle yeah. Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. See? Another address. And what have we here? Oh, of course. Mark Bishop, Jessica Hamilton. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Quote, unquote, screen tests. Hmm. That's just good. Yeah, seems some people share a similar taste. Let's Where is it Los Diablos? Ooh. So he's gonna have uh, hot sauce? Oh, come oh, on! Oh, four! It's, uh, yeah, so it's that's... a mirror... For the mirror room. Oh, fuck. Uh. Let's see. Okay, hop good. I hope you can hop good on one leg because you're going to lose one. Rom? Kowski, I give you permission to kneecap him. Rom? Get the cannon. The yeah. big cannon. You ever All do right. any work for Let's Mark talk, buddy. I mainly do work for the studios RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So, yeah. When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. He's straight face right now. He's bullshitting us. That was association. Okay. I don't know. But he looks like Walter as well now. 
You're bullshitting us. Lie. Yeah, lie. You're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? A 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Yes, you are. You facilitate it. Pretty McAfee's much. men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Oh no, she's put the mafia, ain't she? She's married to the guy, to Guy McAfee, well-known mobster at the time. Yep. But, I did. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, and the lighting in this place is rather bad. So but that yeah, is making this a bit complicated. But yeah, he's still bullshitting us. Look right here. He might be also bullshitting us, but I realized that might be why he put took us over here to make it harder to see. Yeah. You could hump a few props or sweep the floors if you got nothing better to do. I was shove it before I shove those shrunken heads up your ass. He's actually telling the truth on this one. All right. Delivering props to jungle drums on Eighth Street. Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. Okay. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. Oh, now I'm sure. It's a lot more movement. Yeah, but... It really makes it horrible. You can't see the eyes anymore. Everybody lies. Find <laughs> how and you're lying. Look here. I think they lying too, but do we have proof? You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. Mm, okay. Not clean at all. Enough. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. There we go. It's just a, a full circle jerk of assholes. Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What <clears throat> money? The check, dipshit. Oh. Oh. The... <laughs> he, yeah, he's lying. Enough of the lies. I told you I get my cut selling dirty movies. Yeah, and you also get thousand dollar checks sent to your wife. Your ex was getting twenty large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim twenty from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but guy wanted cash. He's in a cash only business. You think I had a choice in this? That's all for now. How many good. choices We're to not do any of this? Well, Hey. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. 
Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives. Hey. Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part, happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, the guy is gonna get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only gonna warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smart son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. <laughs> They're not happy with that. <laughs> Which means we really gotta run. I don't think you like the little pep talk you tell me. Oh, shit, get us out of here. And they got poo poo. Poo part of the Okay. Well, it looks like we'll probably be adding some more damage. Well, oh, uh, God. Okay. I can't enjoy this, this is just madness. Uh, what happened to your mix of movie business, prostitution, and fucking, the fucking mafia? You need to lose those fools, Phelps. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Shut up, you. Just need to outrun or outmaneuver them. You can also make them crash hard enough that he can't see. I think mm -hmm. he can see behind you. Also, they have a Tommy gun. Make a move! Mm -hmm. Set ducks here! Yep, we... No, that's them. Okay. Yeah, there they almost went. Okay. Shut up. Crash into him. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. There we go. Keep it steady. I'll try and bust his tires. Jeez, this is so goddamn cool. Come on. <laughs> These things are about as fast as each Nothing other, so it's a bit hard to catch up. Yeah, come on. Yep. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, that works. On to the movie set, And they say working traffic is like watching paint drop. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, McCaffrey. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McCaffrey really means business. <laughs> Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Okay. Now, <laughs> after putting drums on the back of our car, let's head to the actual drum set. Okay. I think police insurance covers car crashes when the mob is at you. Okay. 
Let's just head over before this thing falls apart. <laughs> or blows up. <sighs> okay, they were making a bit of a turn. Okay. Yep. Okay, Ron, how much do you think that you're gonna need to. He's gonna need to repair, uh, pay for the repairs on the car? Probably good chunk of change. Hello? Hello. 100 bucks. 100. There's a the slippery bastard now. No. I'm oh, guessing 100. God damn it! Four I just realized the casket doesn't have a cat anymore. Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. Come here, you fuck. You gotta be lucky if you walk out of this with both your fucking legs, so stop. Now, we can't pull our gun, apparently. Get back. Stop it. Medical difficulties. Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay. Six, seven, eight, it's working. Yeah, at least that is a lot faster. Yep. <laughs> yeah, second time Phelps has been kicking the face on the job. Right, and all the evidence she managed to just poof out into existence. Get over here. Who built this fucking place? I don't think it was... Years ago, the whole place is falling apart. Oh yeah, they said that, it, that this place was a death trap. That was dangerous. Yeah. Let me hear you. Point the gun, you got a gun. Mark King Bishop takes Bishop. For the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. <laughs> All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAfee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. And there they are. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Right, it's like I trust you any further than I can throw you off of this thing. Which would be a pretty dis in distance. But still. Christ, detectives are trying to kill me! Yeah, I wonder why. Shut up and I'll do it, or I'll do it. And that goes the hat again. It's this way. Always the damn hat that goes first to the shoot house. Don't you run ahead, you dumb idiots. Oh. Right, you're gonna need it. Kill them for God's sake! I don't wanna die! Get us out of that before be a child molester, jackass. There's no way out of here. Holy I thought you said fuck. you knew where you were going. Ah, we have to jump for it. Ah, ah. LAPD, you're making a big mistake. I would not have tried to jump that. Come on, it's this way. Where are they? Is this really the best the captain's got? Okay, yeah, this would be a lot harder with the pistol at this distance. Come on, I see you there. There we go. Took out his elbow. Yep. Hey, you took out his hat. Normally, that's a good shot. It's a. That's what you you were not aiming for to do. <laughs> yeah, I should go for body shots with rifles. They have enough <laughs> impact. Kill a cop. <laughs> yep. The statue there. There's a ladder leading to the ground. This is insanity. On the ground? Yep, to the ground. Oh, to the ground. 
Okay, of course this thing is hollow. A lot cheaper. Get him over here, I'll cover you! Come on, the cavalry's here! <laughs> also, let's be honest, if that was made of solid rock... Yeah, it would collapse the place. Here. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking idiot! <laughs> he ran he it straight. <laughs> Wait, what happened? He ran in front of me. The bishop decided to run in Get front of him. So he watched him getting shot. <sighs> With a gun that can only fire like every three seconds or so, so he took the perfect fucking moment. Uh, the, he, that, I, I'll labor that as suicide. So the idiot ran in front. Yeah, there he goes up motherfucking again. You know, I would. You know what? We, we could technically label it a suicide by stupidity. Yeah, he needs money now. Holy. There. That'll clear the field. Yeah, he ran in front of a gun. Follow me. We need to get him to the car. Wise. Well, this is going into the newspapers. LAPD officers, they come to Mafia and blow up an old set. That's gotta be a fun one. Okay. Yep. You actually survived that? You survived and losing your hat? You can't pick it up. Ah, damn it. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, never mind. Hat mode off. Actually. Oh, give me that. Give me that. <laughs> Boss, did you, uh oh. Hey, look, he's Get got the Tommy gun. I can cover you from here. Say hello to Little Tommy. Uh, uh, I was about to shoot. Tommy, meet Timmy. Okay, thank you for the meta image of Timmy guns. Basically, a Tommy gun version of a pistol. Oh, wait. Reverse! A pistol that uh, looks like a Tommy gun. <laughs> now this is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder, so he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. Yeah. Well, such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, they wouldn't want to hang on to him after blowing up half a set like this. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to keep track of the damages. Yeah. Yep. Hey, there you are, you asshole. So, how's Hopman? Uh, how's uh, Hopgood Phelps? hopping? Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, Detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. I think the captain has his eye on him. Yeah. Blue room club. You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? I think we're pretty sick of movie this people for a bit. Leroy. Be nice to them. You'll like this place. They treat you right. Hi. <laughs> like Honestly, I'm just here for the drink. What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. 
You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. I dislike him more and more. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa! Are you going the... on? Lois, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only the man who dude. ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? What is going on? Hey, Doc, how's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? How about I just shove the bottle up your ass? What bottom side up. What is going on? Let's see, how much damage did we do? And okay, we found, we missed one clue. <laughs> 295 in city damages. Yeah, of course they want to get rid of us now. Wait, that's city damages, and look at the core damage. It's six. Uh, what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it? getting hey, hey, shot hey, up hey, doesn't hey, count. Uh, <laughs> but we did wreck the city. <laughs> uh, uh, let's well, see. Okay. Pizza lover. Okay, well, I'm gonna be honest. I can't watch more of this. Just not my kind of stuff. Seeing this, I might have to go. It was fun being here, but this is too much for me. I'm sorry. I hope to see you soon. Okay, see you next time. Uh, see you next time, pizza. And y yeah, luckily, uh, this this game is going to get heavy, but not this thick with the bullshit as quickly as in for a bit, I think. Okay. Is, you're now promoted to homicide. Yeah, which, of course, is going to make things a lot more happy. Sarcasm. Let's see. Reaching the apartment earlier would have meant a chance to give his... Yeah, McAfee's goon. What for? I don't think it could. Yeah, we could have because well, we went there first thing. Maybe we could have gotten there faster if we drove in ourselves. But I find it a bit doubtful. We still got five stars though. And of uh, lipstick murder. You know, that I think of it, you could probably make, like, posters of each case. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if someone has. We won't be able to go into this one long, though. Actually, I'm... All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Oh, things get weird. Okay. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Hmm. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. 
Okay. Uh, can we do desk and locks the streets of LA, allowing you to patrol the city and attend street crimes? Okay. We can do that as a side thing when we're done with the game. Do you have yeah. to call it here? Been all over Since, you know, also I'm being called over to say happy birthday to my niece. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them happy birthday for us as well, okay? And we'll just cut it once the dialogue here is. Oh, it's already over. Okay. Tell them happy birthday from us all. Uh, yeah, one more thing. It was supposed to be a burglary desk and I think a fraud desk, but those didn't make the cut. And there was a thought about them being DLC, but the company folded, so that didn't happen. Yeah, it anyway, could have been interesting. And have fun. It's been fun. Later. See ya. Later. Yeah, have fun. Okay. We'll head over here and, yeah, we'll go look for someone to raid. A good amount of progress. Uh, some bigger cases we had here. Yeah, look, I will say this. I did not expect it to get them on these episodes, which are. Yeah. Yeah. They're heavy. Luckily, we won't have to deal with that sort of thing for quite a bit, I believe. Because from now on, we'll mostly be dealing with murders, I, believe, I think. Uh, happy Joy Joy. Uh, uh, it's weird to say that. All right. Let's look for someone to raid. So let me change over the screen share to the browser. There. Uh, I said, come on. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's have a look. There's a few people online. We have Reef the Leaf, who is playing Mega Man Battle Network 2. Nico Silverado is oh there Nico Silverado is streaming Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. I was watching them earlier before the stream. Uh, Swabe is playing Bevo Trauma. Azra Arcane is streaming Diablo 4. Black Shadow is streaming Left 4 Dead 2. Jimmy McGinger with Xeno Gears. Amethyst with Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Redacted Cat with Northern Journey. Uh, let me double check. Is the browser muted? Actually, I can just mute the tab. There. What is Northern Journey? Let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, not much I can see from this other than, well, traveling around. I feel like you'd recognize it for some reason, but... Let's see. Uh, Frog Cast is streaming Tears of the Kingdom. Lazarus is still playing Symphony of the Night. I'm a flanker with Kingdoms Reborn. Wait, is that... No, no, it's a, a Kingdom would have been it. Not... Okay, this is uh, like many of the street build uh, city builders like Anno and such, from the looks of it. Um, then we have WBPL76 with Fallout 4. Halloween 4545 45 with Street Fighter 6. Uh, Touch Katie Tail with Deep Rock Galactic. And Glibro Kribo is also online with Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Hmm. Okay, any of those sound interesting or shall I just lower the shall I just pick someone? Yeah, we we'll let you pick someone. Just think about uh, what kind of game they play since some games might be a bad idea to raid on. Yeah. Actually, if, if we raid Nico, we could jump scare him. <laughs> as, I, as I say that and click over to them, they get jump scared. <laughs> okay, let, uh, let's go jump scare them as well then. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since we raided them. Yeah. Okay, cop, uh, did I copy the name there? Yeah, control C, then channel. Okay. Slash raid and paste. But before we start of, uh, that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, uh, Marco and Pizza, for watching along. For uh, yeah, the, that subject matter should not be coming up much more or any more through the game. I don't remember any exact things, but it's yeah, it should get not into that territory much, if any, anymore. So yeah, sorry about that. It is a you know, it is a noir game of things, of course, of going to get dark. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't have to happen again. And also, I just noticed something. Look at mm -hmm. how many followers we have. Yeah, 150 followers. That actually... Uh, did we... There was a new follow. Did we th thank them already? Uh, 
Volasaurus, uh, if we'd completely forgotten forget. to thank you, <laughs> thank you for the follow. Very late, I know, but uh, no, I've never claimed no, to be competent. I'm going to remind him of it, but this time even I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, 150 followers. Uh, hmm. Might look at doing a little thing for that, maybe. Um, maybe. Didn't we do something for 100 followers? Yeah, we. Well, we were to, but it took a while for us to finally do it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to think about it. We yeah, already do plenty of streams in a day, you know, in, in a week, so trying to pick, put something else in would be a bit much. Well, um, I think it's doable, just... You just need to uh, do it a bit um, uh, more of a smaller scale for you had some very big plans last time and so you got so delayed. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll just have to look at for something, maybe put out some ideas, uh, have the creativity of a buttered toast, so I doubt I can come up with anything too good. But yeah, <clears throat> uh, at the very least I'm thinking about changing the background here. Uh, so I, it would be a very tiny thing for that, but I can do one that as one of the things. Anyways, though, uh, tomorrow day off, and then Tuesday we will be starting with Doom Eternal, and hopefully we will have less audio issues now. Yeah, though it and, uh, seem you all you seem to do so minor improvements so far, but there is something going on. Yeah, it only happened four times here, and according to Ram and you, it's a lot less uh, harsh on the ears. So that's yeah. an improvement. So, like, sure, it surprises us, but is it? But again, it sounds more like a static TV than a radio going on a hay fry. Hay, hay fry, fry. That's a new uh, haywire. A haywire. That's the one. Okay. Um. Yeah, for now, though, let's start that raid. And yeah, until next time, everyone, have a nice day. And uh, yeah, until then. Be safe, everyone. And what's up for Sobby Seagulls? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm messing up my outro today, but oh well. Until next. There, there. Have a cookie.